Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Dex. And this game is out for Steam in its entirety right now, but for the Ouya, uh, when the Ouya was in its heyday, it came out as an early access game and was promptly abandoned. So what we're going to be playing today is the early access build of Dex for the Ouya. Um, I'm really sad that this game didn't get finished because I would love to experience the story and actually play it. Apparently, uh... Remastered kind of fixed up version is coming to modern consoles, uh, Xbox One and PS4. And they're, like I said, the full version is on Steam, and that game is actually ready for time to go. But this is sort of a cyberpunk action RPG. And I'm not really sure where I'm going or what I'm doing, because uh, this tech demo just pretty much dumps you into wherever you want to go. And I actually think I'm just going to go the other way. I thought that arrow meant I needed to go that way, but it in fact just means you can go that way. So, I don't want to spend too much time going the wrong way. Let's see. Let's go this way. Hey friend, you look trustworthy. Not really. All the animation in this game is really cool. Like, look at this. Oh, shows showing a little leg, I guess. It is a cyberpunk future, after all. Hey, what's up? What do you have? Oh, okay. Well, I'll stop by later. I don't need any food or drink right now. This is a really ambitious game. It's got, um... It's got Attitude to Spare. All of these character designs. I haven't seen a repeated one yet. I'm sure that we will, but I haven't yet. Hey, Georges. Georges? Interesting notion. Do you know what's going on? I'm working on Magnum Opus, a work that will shift our understanding of technology forever. You might understand. You don't look like a typical cultural hero. Appearance might deceive. I worked for Samuel Indison Industries before the big gap. And? Things happened. I lost my job in my 50s, couldn't find another for two years. Everyone said I'm too old school for work in IT. Collapse. Depression, anxiety, cash ran out, snowball effect. Now I live on the streets, but I continue my work. Only? still down in the blues. Anxiety. I need medications to keep up my work. You get me these, and I'll be able to finish my great work for you. What exactly do you need, man? Antidepressants. Anti-exolics? Exolytics. Anything to came, can't calm down and concentrate on the work. Vanium or any other brand will do. Alright, what's in it for me, man? You get to help an old man from the streets, and once I finish my work, I'll remember you. I'll get something for you, buddy. I know how that biz. I actually had a friend who got kind of caught in that cycle of I'm too old to work in the tech industry despite not having enough experience to be well established. It's kind of a sad place to end up. So, side quest. Keep an eye out for, what do you say, Vanium or something else similar to that. Hmm. Oh man, it's a gangster. All right, here we go. Stay back, man. I'm just gonna use kick, cause geez, the knockback. I think I killed that guy. Whew. Man, the art and animation in this game is really good, but this button mashing <laughs> leaves a little bit to be desired. Hey, okay, cool. Some ammo for a gun that I can't use. I'll take it. I don't have a gun, do I? Um, hold on. How do you access the menu? And there's a block. Do you know what this game reminds me of? Um, it's like a much better, much different version of Sub-Zero Adventures for the PlayStation. Um, Sub-Zero Adventures was like a cash-in on Mortal Kombat's popularity. It used the assets from the game, and it tried to make an adventure game. So Sub-Zero walks like he's ready to fight the entire time at roughly the same speed as characters moved in the fighting game. And you know, when you only have to go one screen back or forth, you really don't notice, but in Sub-Zero, oh, it's so bad. Uh, and there's all these instant death traps that, of course, squish you flat with much, you know, gratuitous gore because Mortal Kombat. And it just all rolls into the most frustrating game I ever played. Um, my friend Chris had it, and he hated it every time I got it out. 
because I kept trying to play it and trying to do something, but it was, wasn't anything. Hey man, I'm gonna go to the Chinese Quarter and see what work I can figure out there. I can jump pretty high. The other thing this reminds me of is um, Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. Wow, I almost lost my mind there. Um, it's a pretty darn fun game. I'm still trying to beat Comic Zone. Maybe one day I'll beat it, but I haven't done it yet. I'm looking for a job. I don't look tough. Nevertheless, I don't need a bodyguard or an assistant, you know. I know my way around. There's something true. It's not a job, rather an offer. Antiquities. Anything older than 2K. Just, not just weapons, anything. Engines, machines, watches, paintings. As I said, it's not a typical contract. Just an offer. You stumble upon something dusty, something old, something worth collecting, you bring it here and I give you a decent price. I will take that. That sounds good to me. But yeah, Comic Zone's um, first-person brawler was toward the end of the Genesis life cycle. It's a pretty darn cool game. Um, it features really big sprites, and it's really hard. But um, once you get good at it, it's not too bad. And I still haven't beat it, so I'm just going to quiet down and not talk about it. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, there's how you open your menu. Character. I don't have any skill points. Oh, cool. Keeps track of my quests. That's nice. I have to. Ugh. How do I get. Oh, I'm in the menu. My bad. There we go. That was definitely made with a mouse in mind. <laughs> Fixer's Hope. R2 to climb. Oh, I can climb down. Okay. Well, there's not much down here, really. Back up? Nope. But I can walk back up. Alright. Um, hey, dog. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Maybe we can shake up some more trouble. This is one of those games where you have to just explore and figure out what you can do, right? Cola. Buy condoms? Why not? Maybe I need them. You never know. Practice safe cyber sex. I can only assume that in the dark future, people practice online entertainment. I'm just going to move to a topic that doesn't make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Ooh. Hey man, are you okay? A key to 112. That's interesting. Might be a house I can loot. Oh, golly. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, you just stop with that. Oh, man, that's a big dude. I'm just gonna stay down here and push these buttons. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Can I get into my inventory? I'm gonna use that. And the inventory does not stop time. I learned that lesson the hard way. Yep, game over. All right, well, that's Dex. Um, this version of the game is really rough, but it was an alpha build. The game hadn't even been, been in beta yet. Um, but I paid to buy this game sight unseen. So I'm in contact with the developers. I sent them an email asking what happened to this build, um, and I'm probably going to purchase a full version of the game when it comes out for Xbox One because I'm really partial to the controller. <laughs> but I might also pick it up for Steam if my computer can run it. Either way, I intend to spend some more time with this game, so we'll check in with a, a non-hokey early access build and see what the actual game turned out to be with a plot and everything else with it.